The countdown to Santa's worldwide journey is on. This is a live look at the NORAD Santa Tracker. As you can see in the lower right-hand corner, there are only about four hours left before children all over the world can watch him deliver presents across the globe. It is a worldwide spectacle that has ties to our area. NBC 15's Christy Batista shows us how it all started decades ago with an unexpected phone call. Back in 1955, a man by the name of Colonel Harry Schaup didn't know he would soon be changing Christmas for many years to come. He was the commander at Truax Field here in Madison before he was transferred to an Air Force base in Colorado Springs, a base home to NORAD. NORAD is responsible for basically all incoming threats to North America. But what he wasn't expecting soon after he got there was the red phone to ring. It's either the Pentagon calling or the four-star general, General Parkridge. The red phone usually signaled an attack, but on this December day, it didn't. Are you really Santa Claus? The person calling was a little girl looking for Santa. That's because a Sears ad told kids to call this number to see where Santa was. But it had a typo. Colonel Schaub, who died a few years ago, said in a previous interview that at first he thought it was a prank. Santa, I want to tell you that uh, in my house we have a fireplace and I know you come down the fireplace. Well, I'm, I'm leaving some food for you, but two, I'm leaving some food for the reindeers. Dozens of calls came in that night from kiddos around the country asking where Santa was. That's the magic of Christmas. If anybody asks you, you just tell them, that's the magic of Christmas. Becoming a Christmas tradition for 60 years. In Madison, Christy Batista, NBC 15 News. Well done, Colonel. And now, 60 years later, NORAD has more than 1,500 volunteers answering your calls to let you know that Santa is safe in the skies.